absolutely brilliant. <laughs> okay, so if you watch TV last Thursday night, and I've been wanting to talk about this for weeks and weeks and weeks, uh, but if you watch Dragon's Den, my friend Rich, he was on there with his stomp it kit. I mean, amazing that you got that far. And how do you feel to actually be shown? Um, Good question. Overwhelmed and uh, relieved, I think is uh, safe to say, because uh, I was kept waiting for a good 10 to 11 months waiting to see if I was going to get aired. Well, the, re the reason I say that you got that far, because you didn't, they didn't, they didn't invest. So some people have said, oh, we didn't get very far. I'm like, do you realise how many people go in front of the Dragons and don't even get aired? Not only that, how many people even apply for the show and don't even get in front of the Dragons? Is that correct? That is absolutely correct, yeah. And I think I worked it out to something like 0.002% of the population have actually been on the show. Is that right? Oh my gosh. And so, yes. and you, you personally know a lot of people, don't you? We were not going to name any names that have actually been trying for years to get on the show. Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. And it's not an easy process. I, I, I'm still baffled to this day how I even got on myself. But I managed to somehow fill in all the paperwork and pass all the auditions, and uh, there I was. There you were. <laughs> well, you've been on the circuit for ages, especially around Bournemouth and Poole area, and a lot of people know, yeah. you, know, you, know you on the south coast of England. What was it that inspired you to do this? And what, Well, first off, let's talk about your stomp it. Why did you, what made you create that in the first place? Uh, there's the ultimate question. Uh, so I pretty much um, played the drums all my life. And when I started playing the guitar and doing my solo shows, which was after, I mean, I don't want to go too dark, but after I ended up with cancer and getting through that and the uh, chemotherapy, I just wanted to live my life. Yeah. And uh, so I started uh, becoming a full-time musician and ditched the drum kits and played guitar. And then as I've become more successful on the scene doing that, I miss my rhythms. I uh, really miss my drums. So I thought, I wonder if I can create a drum kit at my feet where I can stand up, be seen, play the guitar at the same time, and do all my drum fills. And it, it kind of stemmed from there, really. Yeah, I mean, you came over so well on Dragon's Den, and I, I, I mean, I'm going to take a little bit of credit for you going on there. I know that's blowing my <laughs> trumpet a little bit, but we were in a pub in Port... I should, shouldn't I? Because we were in a pub in Pool, yeah. and the whole pub was saying, nah, you'll never get aired with that. You'll never get aired with that. Nah. Do you remember there were two people specifically that joined in on the conversation saying, never, oh, yes, it, never. Yeah, well, I, th I think you were trying to get me onto another show. Uh, I was. I'm pretty sure you were, yeah, your <laughs> listeners will probably guess in one hit what that was. But yeah. uh, then all of a sudden, you just changed your tune, and you just went, actually, Dragon's Den. And those two guys went, nah, that's never going to happen. Well, I kind of uh, thought, I kind of thought, whether they take it or not I, I knew they'll air you because there's so many people on there that are really quite dull and the one thing you are not my friend is dull i mean you come over i mean my mother absolutely loves you right now but you came over so well your smile you're so positive and then when they let you go you kind of were just like who cares anyway i'm back back on stage <laughs> singing but it's not quite like that is it i mean it, it, they showed three minutes how many how long were you actually in there for Oh, I mean, it's, it's such a blur, but it was anywhere between an hour and a quarter and an hour and a half. So it was around that sort of time, yeah. So what's it like when you go in the lift? Is that lift real? Is it a real lift? Am I allowed to say? I, mean, I think you are. <laughs> I think, well, yeah, people, well it, it, people would like to know if it's a real lift or not. Uh, it's, it's obviously everything's prop. It's, 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 a, it's well done, I have to say. It looks real. Yeah. Um, but you, the, door, the door's open, straight in, straight out again. It doesn't move. But um, it's, it, you know something, and I think you might relate to this, when... I think the nerves were more so when you're waiting for the lift doors to open because you can hear them talking for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, trying, to, trying to guess what the product is. And then all of a sudden it goes quiet and the green light comes on and in you go. And I was absolutely overwhelmed by how peaceful it was in there. Yeah. So I thought to myself, any minute now, I'm going to make a load of noise and it's all in my hands. <laughs> and, and the great thing was the dragon smiled. They loved it, didn't they? They really that, did smile. And they yeah, all had a go, the they, and they all carried on playing it afterwards, which was really, really nice as well. So, um, but were there any bits like, because I, I know, look, I know firsthand what it's like on these reality shows. I was on stage on Britain's Got Talent with my audition for about 45 minutes. I did the song a few times, and then they wanted to do this bit, they wanted to do that bit. And then when the actual audition came on TV, it was about, well, seven minutes behind the scenes, and then three minutes on, well, about a minute on stage. But, um, were there, there were bits when I was quite cheeky with the judges and it got edited out and i had think i had some yeah. good lines but i know that happened with you because you told me about it before you were on air and there were, i was really looking forward to certain things coming on that that didn't get said so what you must be able to give me a couple of things 
Oh, without a doubt, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, they did actually miss my entire pitch, which was really annoying. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be uh, unthankful for any of it. I no. don't want to come across that way because I am blessed that I got on. However, they missed my entire pitch, which I nailed. I didn't get nervous. I absolutely nailed my pitch. Um, and my Stomp It song, which in- introduced the uh, drum kit, and that wasn't in there either. So what, what you saw on TV when I first started going into the Dragon Den song, that was about halfway through the pitch. We were, we were a good... 40 minutes into the pitch by then before that happened well at the end of the day the whole thing is about entertainment and you were entertaining and you had a great three minutes didn't you um i did let's play a song of yours first uh we're going to play hard to find by rich baxter you you wrote and produced this song correct yeah um that was uh for my 2016 album uh land of the living i'm playing all the instruments on this one but bass my sister's playing bass and the wonderfully talented yeah, she's a good bass player. Okay. And my, the wonderfully talented Misha Delenska, who's a singer down on the South Coast, is my backing vocalist. Okay, we'll talk to you after this, but um, you're also playing soon in Paul again, aren't you, in Bournemouth or Paul? Where, where are you playing? I certainly am. Uh, that'll be on April the 20th, a Saturday, uh, a tea time special, 5pm at the Lord Nelson. The Lord Nelson in Paul, in Paul. on the yeah. 20th of April. That's not this Saturday, Saturday after. Between when? That's right. Between? Uh, five. Five till seven. Not something they normally do, but uh, they're making an exception. They're so doing a special to... Rich Baxter Dragon's Den special for you. That's cool. That's it. So we got to ram the place out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right, we'll be back right after this. Let's play this song, Hard to Find. She was... <laughs> 